Hey everybody, we're going to do just one thing right now. We're going to talk about the new pan feature inside the new Logic. Some of you may be confused what the big deal is about the new stereo pan, thinking, gosh, didn't we already have stereo panning? Well, the truth is, this is a huge addition into Logic and one that is long, long, long overdue. And that's because previously, and we're looking down here at the mixer right now, something that was a stereo signal, like this drummer, this is not a true pan. It's a balance knob. That means if we go to the left, the left side is all we hear, and the right side is turned down or muted. And the same if we go to the right. The right gets left alone and left gets turned off. That means anytime we used the pan with stereo material, we were actually losing material anytime we went to the left or the right. Well, the new pan knob, and we get to this over here on our channel strip, we can't do it up here for some reason. If I control click on that, it doesn't do it. But if I control click here, it gives me my three choices, stereo pan, balance, and binaural pan. Now, originally we just had balance when it was stereo content. Um, we also did have some binaural stuff, but all three of these are now built right in. And Stereo Pan lets us move our content. Each white line here really represents where things are with this. And we can move them around independently of each other, which is pretty awesome. Or click on the middle and move them together. We can also command click on this to swap the left and the right channels. That is actually super awesome, super easy to do. We could move them all into one point and move them around as well. But it's just super handy to be able to have this kind of control now right here. Now in terms of the balance, we can always still use that. And then binaural pan. This is talking about psychoacoustics which is how we hear things. And when using headphones, this is really important, it changes the sound of things to make it sound like we have a surround sound because in the same way that if a sound happened behind us, um, then we actually hear it slightly different due to the shape of our ear and other things around our head. That mimics that and it makes it sound like things are behind us or to the side of us. And it's actually really cool for headphone type things. You can use it creatively in mixing and come up with some really interesting things. Now, we did have panning before this. We did. Uh, it was when we had mono signals. And anytime you had a mono signal, that pan knob really was panning back and forth. And so it's not like panning is brand new. It's just stereo material. It was the balance knob that was happening anytime we had stereo material. Okay, I hope that clears it up a little bit. Start using the stereo pan instead of the balance when you're mixing. It'll actually be a lot better for your music in many ways and keep a lot of your stereo content in the mix. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you tomorrow.